This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And yesterday was the European finals at Wembley Stadium. And England faced Italy to try to win the trophy for the first time in 55 years. Thousands of people took to the streets to celebrate the fact that England had even made it to the final. And it was a very tense match as well. It went into extra time and eventually penalties. And with England missing several, it led to Italy winning the actual match. Sadly, this resulted in some racist abuse directed at the black players that had missed their shots. This was disappointing to see. And there was a statement by Show Racism the Red Card that said they're proud to stand shoulder to shoulder with every single member of the England squad today. And they strongly condemn any racist abuse that was aimed at players in their inboxes and are also, I believe, by alleged fans outside. The Prime Minister has condemned the racist abuse. They also go on to say that but he refused to condemn people who booed players for taking the knee throughout the tournament. Show racism the red card said they want a clear message and they need the words from the government and companies that support this. What and there were several other incidents online where so-called celebrities had said things like, did you notice only the white players had won? One of them was a comedian that had appeared on, I believe, Live at the Apollo and also BBC Three as well, called Andrew Lawrence in the Worcester area. And he received a massive backlash and this has resulted in his Twitter actually being taken down. So for us to come out of lockdown and go through something so traumatic together and then have something that brings everyone back together, it's just sad to see that some people have took that so far and now they've disappointingly let us all down. Some of the scenes from Leicester Square were actually quite mind-blowing as well. And it was described as a complete mess as hundreds of football fans for some reason just dropped all their litter and started throwing missiles and bottles at each other and sporadically fighting throughout the day. Of course, this is a combination of excitement, alcohol and witnessed as well on camera was a lot of drugs as well. People were casually taking class A drugs in the middle of the street. The independent newspaper said that there was a massive clean-up underway for all the rubbish that was left by crowds after the final that saw England knocked out in penalties. They say a lot of fans were trying to get to the top of a restaurant and this resulted in a lot of bottles ending up being thrown around. Staff have worked through the night to clean it all up and fair play to them for doing it and nearby Chinatown was actually destroyed pretty much with rubbish. A short walk away in Trafalgar Square, crowds also gathered for the final and there was a massive clean-up operation in place there as well. There was also dozens of clashes with police as they tried to break barricades to make their way into the fan zone as police started to shut down some of the streets. The Guardian newspaper reported that England fans forced their way into Wembley who didn't have tickets and supporters breached security barriers outside the stadium and a small amount managed to actually get into the stadium. During half time Gary Lineker spoke about the fact that there was a lot of fans without tickets in the outside areas and they were going to be removed by security. Fans even told the newspapers that some people had pushed past them at, at the turnstiles and managed to get into the vicinity. A Wembley Stadium spokesman said that safety measures were in place in the relevant areas and no security breaches of people without tickets was not dealt with. They later said in a statement this was a small breach of security and some people got into the stadium. A lot of people didn't have their tickets checked and UEFA had also earlier said there would be no access to the stadium. A witness reported that fans were fighting over seats. A Metropolitan Police spokesman said there was a breach of security at Wembley Stadium. A small number of people were arrested and officers worked closely with the security to make sure there was no further breaches. 
Reports from Wembley Stadium said the stadium was locked down afterwards and any fans that had breached the barrier were turned away very soon. Police officers on horseback were deployed as well to control the crowds and staff tried to reassemble fences around the stadium. The Metropolitan Police said there was a total of 49 arrests on Sunday for a variety of offences and 19 officers were injured while they confronted volatile crowds trying to storm the Wembley, Wembley Stadium. So of course, football, uh, it brings the community together as well. But as you can see, a lot of things that have come off from the back of this that have caused a lot of hassle and also upset as well. So I really appreciate you joining me for these updates. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Follow us online as well at Scar City Studios. And don't forget to check out the website for regular updates. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Peace.